Hey there everybody, Radix Parasite here, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix. In the last episode, we helped Cinderella achieve her dreams by uh, guiding her to the castle and making sure that she got there safely. Uh, so she could, you know, meet with the prince, dance, and, you know, have, have a lovely evening. We didn't get to see the conclusion of the story, but uh, that's, you know... All that Terra is going to be doing in this world. Uh, well, I say that, but we actually need to go back here for a couple things. So there are two treasure chests here that we could not get uh, upon our first visit. And that is because uh, they were both in cutscenes. So actually, you know what? I wonder if I could have gone back for this one like after guiding Cinderella to, you know, through the escort section there. I didn't. I know it's just slightly easier to come back and do it now, I guess. We can make use of this opportunity to uh, try to use our D-Link a little bit more. Hey, there we go. We finally got the uh, second level for this. I mean, I say finally. I think I've only used it like a few times, but... With how long it can be between uh, D links, it can can feel like quite a while. So, for her level two, we get Mind Square, you know, a very good ability. We also get an upgraded finisher. This is Magic Volley, and we actually got a second one, so that that's kind of funny. So I th I, I think I'll keep hers on just you know. She's the main character, but we can start working on some of the other D-Links that we got, like uh, Maleficent and uh, Cinderella. Take that. And I, I could be running past everything here. Uh, I'm just making use of the opportunity to get some more experience. Oh, that was wonderful. <laughs> Uh, that attack does not really have a lot of range on it. I'm sure you could probably tell. There are a lot of enemies here, although I did just take out a lot of them very quickly. So, the other one that we missed, the other chest, is in the ballroom, but... Unfortunately, because of the uh, Symphony Master, uh, we were not able to get it. It was up on that balcony. So there, there was n no chance that we could get it just because of the cutscene activating the moment that we walk in the room. And let's try out uh, Maleficent's Demon. So hers has a lot of uh, dark and fire-based abilities. So you see she has Blackout, she has Binding Strike, Fire. Should be able to get her finisher here. But Thunder Chaser, you can basically move this uh, targeting circle around and strike things with lightning. We're already at level 10, so we're, we're doing pretty good on that front. I, I have been fighting a lot of things, so that does help. We can just walk through the antechamber here. I suppose if I was trying to be more efficient with my Tom, I could have just warped right to the antechamber, but there's the chest. So I go into the menu here. The reports under treasures. You can see we've gotten all of the treasures in the Castle of Dreams now. Let's see, what did we get? Is probably a new command if I had to guess. Uh, oh yeah, it was fire. So let's start working on those. We've already finished our first cure. Some some of these things definitely go by very quickly. At least some of the lower level commands will level up uh, 
quite quickly. Uh, where is the new... It's probably an item. Yep. That's almost always the last one that I check for the new indicator. It's probably synthesis. Because we've got fleeting and wellspring now. Both good to have. Alright, and with that, we are good to move on. So our next destination is the Dwarf Woodlands. Spirit of the mirror, come from the farthest space. Through wind and darkness, I summon thee. Speak! Show me thy face. What wouldst thou know, my queen? Magic mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? Famed is thy beauty, Majesty, but hold, a lovely maid I see. Alas, she is more fair than thee. Alas for her, reveal her name. Lips red as the rose, hair black as ebony, skin white as snow. Oh, snow white? A mirror that knows and sees everything. How about that? The heart of Snow White doth shine bright. Beware, my queen, a heart of light. Another one? Wait. What if Master Xehanort is here? <gasps> Who goes there? My name is Terra. I'm looking for a man named Xehanort. Master Xehanort. I thought maybe you might have seen him. That name is of no consequence to me. Wait. Ah, yes. I have a task for you. If you succeed, I will ask the mirror where you might find this Master Xehanort. And the mirror will know? Do you dare to question me? What is the task? <laughs> there is a young maid who resides in this castle. Her name is Snow White. Kill her. And to make sure you do not fail, bring back her heart in this. Her heart? I don't understand. You're after the Hearts of Light too? What I demand is her life. I've had more than enough of her light. What did this maiden do to you? That is no concern of yours. Now, heed my words. My radiance is all the light this kingdom needs. <laughs> Where can I find her? Outside the castle. There is a glade of wildflowers. You are dismissed. Go now and seek her there. A heart of light. This Snow White is my best chance right now. Maybe she will lead me closer to Master Xehanort. But what if I... No, I won't let that happen. Why are you even agreeing to this in the first place? She is clearly evil. <laughs> she asked you to kill someone. <laughs> like, I, I don't care if you want to find Master Xehanort. Like, just... No. <laughs> Why? <sighs> uh, 
Uh, Terra out here making all of the terrible life choices. So I don't I don't know if the the Evil Queen, Lady Tremaine, and Maleficent have the same voice actress in this game or not, but having these three worlds all right next to each other, they really sound alike. <laughs> when you uh, put them next to each other like that. So we got a chest here. We've got another chest here. Except this chest is not a chest, it's actually a mimic. They, they do give you, you know, nice chunk of cash though for defeating them, so. They, they'll definitely trip you up like the first time that you encounter them, but what makes them exceptionally tricky is that uh, they will respawn just like any other enemy. So, I did, I did a great job with uh, blocking those attacks there. But, yeah, they'll respawn. So, you know, after I leave the room and come back, they'll, they'll be here again. So anyways, uh, got some areas to explore right now. Let's see, we're looking for a grand total of four treasure chests in this room. This was not one of them. That one over there is. So the the fake treasure chests are always the big ones. So if you're ever worried, uh, the small treasure chests are always safe. All right, there's a star. That's good. You know, we'll just keep going with this, see if we can get lucky and uh, hit another one. It is worth noting, uh, while we're in D-Links, all the CP that we're getting is still going towards the commands in our deck. So, yeah, you don't have to worry about, you know, not getting experience for your commands by using D-Links, which is nice. And you can see that counter hammer is like awfully uh, powerful. All right, so that's the exit of the area. Obviously, we still have uh, another chest or two to find. Fortunately, we can't jump high enough. It's just barely too high for us. I was actually in the air uh, when that happened, I think due to my, my attack, so I couldn't guard. This game does not have an air guard. So, anyways. Go ahead and grab this. So if you saw, there was one of these uh, contraptions over there. But it was already lit, so for this one we actually need to fire. use fire. It's a good it's a good thing that, you know, we just uh so happened to get fire. Uh, not too long ago. So any fire, you know, base attack will will work for that. Now fires are actually both maxed out in level already. That's nice. And that was a new shot lock, so you've got uh, a number of new toys to play with now. So go ahead, and this is an easy one. This is gonna make fire a... Let's see what we can get with this. We could get another HP boost. Um, I think I might actually do that because uh, we do have a couple fleeting crystals. Uh, those will typically get you haste commands, so primarily attack haste and magic haste. But I don't really want to prioritize magic haste for Terra, since I'm going to be using mostly physical attacks on him anyways. So, uh, pulsing just gets us leaf bracer. So if we didn't already have it, uh, this is one of the easiest ways to get leaf bracers, just making Fyra this way. So yeah, I think I'm going to go with another soothing crystal, in all honesty. So, there are a total of three HP boosts that you can get, so we already have two, two of them. <laughs> but 
but you know, we'll just be ahead of the curve when it comes to uh, HP. Let's see, what else do we have that we could throw in our deck and work on? I mean, I suppose we could work on another cure, just get ahead of the, uh, the curve on uh, getting Kiraga. So yeah, these other ones, yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with what I've got for now. I don't really have anything new. There's definitely a problem that you will run into. Uh, right, we got a new Shala. There it is. This is definitely a problem that you'll have early on in the game. Oh, we got a new item, didn't we? This is the worst part about these is, uh, new indicators is that I always wanna make them go away. but it can be difficult to find the things. So the, the official name for the mimics is Spider Chest, which is pretty apt. They, they do kind of have uh, spider-like legs. All right, so that should conclude our business in this area. We have to run back around to here to get back up. Plus, I could actually try to hit these while they're blue in order to get some D-Link crystals. So red uh, will make them explode, green will drop health, and blue, obviously, as I just demonstrated, will drop the D-Link crystals, so. I mean, they can be handy if you need the health. We do have access to Cure now, so it's not a huge deal. And then I, I hit it at the wrong timing. Okay. This is another slightly bigger room. It's not as open as the last one, but it will have a bit of a maze. Now, that one got caught in the crossfire a bit. So, game introduces a new mechanic here with these timed gates. I don't know if they appear anywhere else, actually. It might just be this one room in this particular uh, puzzle. I'm just gonna wait for this. Go. And one of the downsides of some of the finishers in this game is that they don't recognize that the battle is over, so you're just kind of stuck in them for a while. And some of them do take, you know, quite a while. Ah, crap. So we've got a little bit of a uh, dilemma here. Uh, there's a farther gate here that's connected to that same wheel that we hit. So if we don't go all the way through here, uh, we don't get the stuff that's, you know, up on this ledge, so. You'll probably have to go through here at least once, or at least twice, in order to get both of them. So, kind of sucks that you have to do it that way, but, you know, that's just how it is. So hey, we got uh, our second star from the left zone already. I would definitely say we've had above average luck for getting uh, the D-Link upgrades thus far. So unfortunately, we do have to go through this whole entire maze to get back to where we were. It's not terribly complicated. You know, you just go through this first one and then you hit this one. So this time we can actually just stop now that we're on the other side of this one and take care of all the stuff that's in here. This is mostly just the one treasure chest. It's the primary concern. So you can see the uh, new finisher. So this was actually new. I don't know if I've like seen this one all that often. You know, hold X and then just kind of move around a bit. We can revert there to save the rest of our uh, D-Link gauge. 
So, yeah, we've got four chests in here, and that's all. So, yeah, we should be up to eight. And the exit is this way. So, uh, I think this is going to be a good place to actually end this episode. We are not quite to the flowery glade that the evil queen told us about, but uh, we're not that far. So, um, yeah, that'll do it for this episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix. I've been Rex Parasite, signing out.